In this video, I will show you how to set up the SIM Innovations G5 in a panel. I will be adding the PFD and HSI. Let's start by adding a panel. For this example, I will be using the premium Cessna 172SP panel and replace the attitude indicator and gyro with G5s. First, I will remove the attitude indicator and the gyro. Right click and remove. Now I will be adding the bezels one by one. Note that these are the same instruments but with a different configuration. I will be tinkering a bit to get it to the correct size. The size and position can be different for every panel. You can right click on an instrument to bring up the configuration window. This is where you set the position and size in pixels. And some instruments have settings. Oops! The original instrument size was 240 pixels in width, so that is what I will be using for the bezel as well. The PFD is done. Now I will continue with the HSI. I will use the same size as the PFD, which was 240 pixels in width. Now the bezels are in the correct position. I will continue by setting the HSI bezel to device number 2. All bezels and screens require their unique and corresponding device number. The next step is to add the screens. First up is the PFD. Again, we will tinker a bit to get the correct position and size. You can use the gray area in the preview as a guide. The screen has to fit exactly into the gray area. Next is the screen for the HSI. Again, same as with the bezel. It is the same instrument, but I will modify the configuration. As you might remember, the bezel of the HSI was set to device number 2. I will do the same thing with the screen to make them work together. Also, by default, the screen is configured as PFD, so I set this to HSI to make it start as a HSI. Device number 2 there, and click OK. Now let's start the panel and see what happens. There's our panel, with a PFD and the HSI. When I click on the encoder button, it will bring up the menu. From here I can do all sorts of settings, both on the PFD and HSI. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, then see the support page on our website.